It's your girl Fairy Queens here and welcome back to another video. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing amazing. Welcome back to episode 18 of the full game walkthrough. In the last episode, geez, when was the last episode? It's been a while and if you notice, our characters look a bit different. Well, that's because they are different. If you haven't watched the video that I am putting on screen right now, you definitely need to go watch that before continuing on with the walkthrough. I think that's going to explain a lot for you guys. Anyway, I'm really excited to be back with the walkthrough series. Sometimes change is good, and I think that it's going to be amazing for this walkthrough. So in the last episode, we finished Big Ben, and we also finished Marleybone. Well... Now look where we are! We're about to do one of my favorite worlds in Wizard101, and it is Mushu! I hope you guys are excited about this as I am. It's gonna be so weird playing as a balance now instead of a Moon School character, and I'm really excited for it! So without any further ado, let's get started. As you can see, Amber is on her little crocodile. Well, it's not so little. This is probably going to be the mount that she uses for the entire walkthrough, so I would like you guys to name him, and if you have any name suggestions, please leave a comment on this video. I guess it could be a girl, too. I'm open to any name suggestions. Okay, now the first quest that we have is to explore Mushu in the teleport chamber. There we go! Go to world! <gasps> Yay! Su Li! Hello! Greetings, traveler from the City of Wizards. It is always good to see someone from your world visit here in Mushu. So you want to see the Emperor Wizard? I have already said too much. No one may see His Imperial Majesty without permission from His Majesty's guard. However, I can save you some time. Go speak to the guard Noburu Akitami by the Jade Palace. If anyone can help you, he can. Okay, we are on our way to go talk to Noburu Akitami. It's funny because I've never listened to the storyline of Mushu, and I'm going to probably be able to pronounce their names now because I can actually hear it. Su Li sent you? She did. Noboru Akitami stares at you for a moment. Very well, esteemed wizard. We are honored that you traveled so far to visit Mushu. You seek his majesty the emperor, but another wizard such as you has already come before using the same beguiling words. Malastare was his name. Oh my god. What? Since that unfortunate visit, no one may see his imperial majesty. We will make an exception only if you willingly submit to the tests of mind, body, and spirit. I must warn you that no one has ever passed all three tests, except for his imperial majesty himself. If you accept, Lo Pang will administer the first test by the rock garden. Well, of course I accept. You know what? I never realized that Malastare was the one who made him sick. I'm starting to see why people don't like Malastare. I'm starting to understand why! Greetings. I confess that I'm surprised Noboru Akatami sent you. I have never administered the test of mind to anyone other than a monk. Welcome to the Rock Garden, esteemed wizard. I see you are anxious to pursue your quest. However, there are many evils loose in the spiral. And the one you seek to battle is but one of them. Still, to be as the Muda is to be at peace and pure of mind. I hope that the Rock Garden will lead you to peace as it has for me. Go now. Enter and clear your mind. Afterwards, go inside the dojo and see what wisdom you can learn there. Come to me when you are finished with your journey. I will be able to tell if you are truly pure of mind. I mean, I think... Think I'm pure of mind? You study the rocks and the patterns in the sand and see the manifestation of inner peace and strength. Okay, now we have to read the Book of Celestial Wisdom. Thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. Oh, that's actually like so inspirational. Ah. Lo Peng says that you passed his test. 
I am now satisfied that you are pure of mind. I expect a wizard can easily pass the test of mind. But what about the test of body? For your second test challenge, Samurai Yochimotoyo to a duel and defeat him with honor. He awaits you by the water dojo. I mean, I kind of feel bad because I'm just like, I'm new to town and now I'm already challenging someone to a duel. And I don't know, that feels wrong. You wish to battle me? I would be honored. I've never faced a wizard. Let us prepare and meet again inside the dojo. I mean, he seems like he wants to, so okay. It still feels wrong though. Okay, there he is. He is a storm boss and I need to prepare a deck. Okay, here we go. Something tells me that I am seriously behind on spells, but that's okay, that's okay. We will go get our balance blade afterwards, but for now, blade storm will work. So I found this amulet in the bazaar and it actually comes with black mantles. And I feel like this will be really useful for bosses, so let's test it out. Hopefully he fizzles. Cool, he did it, but that's okay because he just did a shield. Okay, let's try it again. Let's see if we can make him fizzle this time. Fizzle, 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 fizzle. Fizzle, fizzle. Yay, we did it. Okay, I'm just going to use my Sandstone Colossus. This is a TC that I had laying around because I am a little bit behind on spells. So that's okay, we will use it. A little TC never hurt nobody. Whoa! Whoa! I've never actually seen this animation. It's kind of cool. Oh, and we got the power pip! Okay, I'm gonna do this, and then next round I will crocotillion, and then he should be dead. I got another power pip! Oh my gosh! Look at this, you guys! Look, look, look! Yay! <laughs> Amber's true self is coming out. Impressive. It was an honor to fight you. Thank you. You walk like a victor. If you defeated Yochimotoyo, you are indeed a formidable opponent. You must be a powerful wizard to pass the test of body, but your training can't help you pass the final test. One's true spirit cannot be disguised. Many would rather run than face the judgment of the Muda. If you are truly pure of spirit, visit the statue of the Muda at the center of the palace grounds and let your true spirit shine. I have a really good feeling that the statue of Muda will think that we are true to our spirit. We will pass the test. You stand before the statue of the Muda, and it suddenly speaks. Young wizard, you have done much good in your time. The shining spirit of a true hero is evident in you. You have passed the test of spirit. I knew it! Difficulties approach you, but do not despair. If you keep to clarity of mind, strength of body, and purity of spirit, you will ultimately triumph. I don't know, I feel so validated whenever I come to Mushu. You... you passed the test? I did! Most esteemed wizard, you are indeed pure of mind, body, and spirit. Forgive my lack of faith. I only thought of the safety of his benevolent majesty. Find my superior. The Jade Champion within the Emperor's throne room. He will help deliver your message to his Imperial Majesty. Okay, and now we are ready to talk to the Jade Champion. You passed the three tests? Noburu Akitame was bored, but wise to administer them to you. You are indeed welcome and needed here. The Jade Champion sighs with sadness as you deliver Ambrose's warning about Malastair. You are too late! The wizard Malastare already petitioned his benevolent majesty for the spiral key to Dragonspire. When his imperial majesty refused, that foul wizard cruelly wounded him. 
and fled through the gate to Dragon's Mile. I... I could not stop him. Only His Imperial Majesty can grant you the Spider Key. But his wound has made him gravely ill. I trust you to keep this a secret. We do not wish to frighten our people with fear for the Emperor's health. If you wish to use the Dragon Spire Spiral Key, you must restore His Benevolent Majesty's health. Please speak with Tan King, the High Monk. He can tell you how. I hate Malastare. Why would he do that to the poor cow? Thank you for seeking me out. Whether it is your need for the Dragon Spire Spiral Key or the Muda's Invisible Hand that brought you here, I am grateful for your help, Wizard. We have a large task ahead of us. In order to heal His Imperial Majesty, we must restore his mind, body, and spirit. All is not well. While His Imperial Majesty inwardly fights for purity of spirit, the people fight each other on land. Warlord Katsumori has taken his benevolent majesty's sword and plunged us into war. I've always believed in the tie between the Emperor and the land, but never witnessed it until now. If we cure his imperial majesty's spirit, we may well end the war. Will you help us? The spirit of a samurai resides in his sword, so we must recover his imperial majesty's sword from Warlord Katsumori. Samurai Shojiro Gama at Hamatsu Village can tell you more. Okay guys, we are starting our first area of Mushu. Hamatsu Village! Questing in Mushu literally makes me so happy. Like, it's just so beautiful and nostalgic for me. Also, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, I'm sure you have, but in the beginning areas, the bamboo is green, and then as you go on, the bamboo actually starts to die. Wizard, you arrive at a fateful time. Perhaps with your assistance, the tide of war will turn. We have dishonored his imperial majesty. If this village falls, all is lost. Our once peaceful warlord has scattered our forces and I... Gama grimaces as he clutches his side. I have no strength. I am ashamed to ask. But can you rescue my missing men trapped in the outskirts of the village? Return when you have found them all. Okay, here we are at Jun Ho Shan. An emissary of his Imperial Majesty. If you have cleared the way, I will make it back. Thank you, revered wizard. And here's the second little one. You've rescued me. What an honor. I can make it back to fight on my own. Aww, you're too tiny to fight. You shouldn't have to fight. And here is the third guy. I'm free. I will return to Samurai Gama. You have my thanks, humble that they are. And the fourth one. I never thought I would live to see a wizard. Thank you. I can't wait to return and fight. Aww, he's excited to see me. I bet this would look so weird to all of the villagers here. Like, <laughs> seeing a wizard running around on a big crocodile. <laughs> oh, you've got to love Wiz. Oh my god, it's on fire! Okay, let's put out the fires, Gamma. You found the missing men. I thank you. Perhaps we may yet honor his imperial majesty and retrieve his sword. The evil warlord, Katsumori, stole our weapons, and now my men must combat the enemy with only their bare fists. Katsumori shamefully attacked while we were celebrating the Festival of Lights. If you can retrieve those weapons, we will bring shame upon him. Weapons were in crates, so look for those. Okay, okay. I remember seeing a couple of those. I mean, I will gladly go get those, but I really do think you should be worrying about the fires. Here's our first one. And here's the second one. I hate crossing the streets in Mushu. No! Okay, and now we got the fourth one. I hope he's proud of us. I mean, truthfully, I'm not too proud of him. I think that he really should be working on putting those fires out. And, you know, he doesn't even need that much strength to do that. Ah, with these weapons now back in the hands of my men, Warlord Katsumori will regret attacking us. Thank you, wizard. I've learned that forces of the vile Warlord Katsumori are gathering to attack. 
They expect us to be weak. I don't want to reveal our strength just yet. What we need is a secret attack by a small group or a wizard. Could you defeat several bandits and outlaws? That will buy us time to regroup. I suppose I can. I won't enjoy it though, but I will do it for you. Okay, so this is fun because this is actually our first battle together as the new wizards. So she is using a fire blade and I'm just going to go ahead and buff her up. And now she is using meteor strike and I am going to use a blade storm for her. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, this is gonna be so easy. So now that we got the bandits, we have to go get the outlaws. And here they are. As you can see, these pigs are much, much larger. And Brittany got pulled in a different battle, but that's okay. She's on her way back. And there she is! Hi, Brittany! Oh, look, she actually got two power pips, so she could technically hit right now. And I think she's going to, so I'm just going to buff her with my balance blade. That was very, very, very simple. While we are on the way back to Gamma, let's talk about Mindy and how that battle would have gone. Well, let's just say that we would probably still be in the first battle. We would have probably fizzled several times while trying to cast our cat bandit, Tempest, and it just would not have been fun. Say no more. I have seen your results. While the enemy's forces scatter, our men grow stronger. You do us great honor. I know this warlord Katsumori well. He always wanted to stand against his benevolent majesty and stole his sword when we least expected it. To defeat him, we must know his actions ahead of time by intercepting his orders. While my men fight for every inch, you are best equipped to slip behind enemy lines and take the orders from the courier. Bring them back here. This area is always super hard because we are trying to get the Atomo couriers, and it's just very hard because they are surrounded by all of the outlaws. I am going to remove the tower shield from this one, and she is going to meteor strike with her elemental blade on. Okay, let me just say, maybe balance is kind of fun, but only if you're playing with a friend. You have the orders! He reads the orders with an expression of great concern. Very informative. Someone dishonors us. There is a spy within our ranks reporting to the enemy. These orders don't reveal the spy, but he reports to Dodaga, one of Warlord Katsumori's worst warlords. Warlord Katsumori has ordered him to attack our weak flank. If my men attack him, the warlord will know we have intercepted these orders. Only you can defeat Dodaga to stop the attack, esteemed wizard. Prepare to die, Dodaga. Your skills are mediocre at best. Too bad you may see some real fighting only once before your defeat. I think Dodaga is going to be shocked when he sees that we kill him. So we are starting out by buffing up and blading. As per usual, I am going to remove Dodaga's shield. And she is going to meteor strike. That was super, super, super easy. You have defeated Dodaga? Excellent! You have secured the village fighting for it as if it were your own. It's only a matter of time before this spy reports our efforts to retrieve the sword. We must be stationed at the outpost up ahead, which has just been overrun. I can only trust you with this matter. Go speak with Sanasai. He's become the leader there, though I doubt his skills. Help him if you can, and find the spy. Okay guys, and that is the end of episode 18. We just finished Hamatsu Village, and in the next episode, we will be starting Takatai Outpost. Don't forget to leave a comment on what you want our new mount to be named. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. 
If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Bye!